Today we welcome Mark Kosjensik, Group CFO of SCORE, to talk about SCORE's financial results. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Mark, SCORE just released its Q3 results. What should we take away from this quarter? Well, the third quarter was marked by an exceptional series of large natural catastrophes. SCORE clearly demonstrated its resilience and shock absorbing capacity. And that's our policy, to anticipate shocks, to make sure these shocks are within the range of our risk appetite and to protect our capital. As a result, our solvency position remains in the upper part of the optimal range in our solvency scale and our year-to-date net income remains positive at 25 million euros. As you said, SCORE absorbs shocks, which is the core of its business. But should we expect an impact on the Vision in Action strategic plan? No, we shouldn't expect any changes. SCORE is continuing to execute Vision in Action as planned. And we confirm that both of our targets, the solvency ratio in the optimal range and the return on equity target across the cycle remain unchanged. The technical assumptions in life, PNC, and investments are also confirmed for the remainder of the plan. There's no change in our risk appetite, in our underwriting discipline, and we still have ample capacity in our retrocession structure. But following this exceptional series of NATCATs, the PNC environment has changed, and SCORE is well positioned to benefit from this, starting with the January 2018 renewals. What do you actually mean by well positioned? Well, we have an excellent franchise with expert teams globally, but particularly in the United States, where being underweight, we can grow faster than the market. Clients and potential clients will have less reinsurance recoverables with us. And in addition to being underweight, we bring a strong credit rating to the table. As you know, we were upgraded of late by AM Best to an A-plus rating. And this is important for the U.S. market. We will be working with clients to find the right solution for them in this environment. Okay, that's good to hear. Given the impact on the third quarter results you just mentioned, what does this mean for the shareholder remuneration policy? Should we expect any changes? Our solvency position remains very strong at the end of the third quarter, at approximately 213%. Uh, with this in mind, we confirm our capital management policy, our dividend policy is unchanged, and our 200 million euro share buyback program, which expires in mid-2019, is maintained. And finally, the merger of the three SCORE SE legal entities is on track with a potential solvency benefit of 200 million euros. And we expect it to be completed by 2019. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for watching us. We look forward to presenting the PNC January 2018 renewals on the 5th of February and SCORE's quarter four 2017 results on the 22nd of February. In the meantime, you can follow SCORE News on Twitter, LinkedIn and score.com.